Nez Nation, I am back from vacation. But the fanny train of corruption just keeps on coming. It is so awesome to see you guys. I'm so excited to be back in the studio, not using cruise ship Wi-Fi, which was garbage. Let's get right into it. I'm so happy to see you. Let me know in the comments how you've been. So great to see you. Um, okay, so Cash Money G. Willis, of course, back in the news. But this is getting more and more serious as a former employee inside the office of the Fulton County District Attorney Office is ready to spill the goods on how she abused Cash Money G federal funds in her quest to take down Donald Trump. I've got some startling, awesome, revealing video from our good man from Ohio, Mr. Champion Jim Jordan, Mr. Integrity himself. He appeared on Fox Business Thursday telling Maria Bartomo that the woman who came forward has illuminated the HOC, that's the House Oversight Committee inquiry, into Willis's management of anti-gang funds and whether they were improperly diverted to buttress a politically motivated trial. Now, remember, we did a bunch of live streams and a bunch of videos on how uh, basically Jim uh, filed subpoenas to uh, Cash Money G saying that we need some information from you, that we've got, you know, all sorts of insights. Uh, Amanda and Timson has been talking to them. Um, whistleblowers are coming out of the woodworks. I talked about how... If you see the way that she acts in court, I can't imagine what she's like when the cameras are not around. Let me know. What do you think she's like when the cameras are not around? I said her workplace has got to be as toxic as ever. Like, I can't think or imagine what that workplace is like and what it's like working underneath Cash Money G. Well, here's the cool thing. Jordan, uh, uh, Jordan's comments came just one day after the Justice Department reported inconsistencies, which we talked about that too in a former video, in the Georgia prosecutor's reports back to the feds on how she used their money. Check out this video right here where he talks about new shocking revealing evidence against our girl. You love her. It's the it's it's the one we all love. Cash Money G. Fanny Willis. Check this out. I mean, the public is watching all of this unfold. Now the Justice Department reportedly finding inconsistencies in Fulton County DA Fanny Willis's use of federal grant money. Yeah. Willis fired her, the whistleblower who warned the DA's office was attempting to misuse $488,000. This was a federal grant. She wanted to use it to pay for computers and travel. I don't know if she was traveling with her boyfriend or not, but the DOJ told the Washington Free Beacon the grant is plagued with reports discrepancies, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, no, the, God bless the whistleblower came forward. We've talked with the whistleblower. Uh, she's given information to the press, to us. Now the Department of Justice is looking into this. All kinds of problems with Fonnie Willis and this ridiculous uh, 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 investigation mm -hmm. that she's run on President Trump and others and the charges she's brought forward. I mean, you got the whole thing with Nathan Wade. Uh, taxpayer money going to Nathan Wade. He was traveling to Washington to meet with the DOJ, the White House, the January 6th committee, all in this effort to go after President Trump. And now we have this. It looks like like misspending federal grant dollars. Uh, God bless the whistleblower who came forward and let us understand uh, what's going on here. There you have it right there in his nation from Jim Jordan, our good man from Ohio. The former Fulton County employee told House investigators that she was fired by Willis after raising questions about the potential diversion of federal dollars intended to divert at-risk youth away from gangs. Remember in the last video... We talked about how, I, I mean, how do you do that? How do you do that, District Attorney Willis? I mean, how do you do that and sleep at night? This was supposed to be grant money to help the youth actually do something with their lives. I mean, it's a, it's a noble, worthy cause to help them stay away from gangs, to actually, you know, uh, uh, project their life down the right path. And what do you do? You divert those federal dollars to your own back pocket from at risk you. I mean, this is, you want to talk about something that is just so diabolical. 
it, it's it's it just it brings a chill up in your in your blood to to hear about these kind of things. Among the exorbitant costs of Willis's case against Trump includes payments totaling about seven hundred thousand dollars to Wade, her ex lover, who has since told the divorce court that he is too poor to make child payments since being forced to resign from the case. So what'd you do with all that money, Philander and Wade? What'd you do? Where'd all that money go? Too many trips to Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I'm gonna make you an orange suit so you can sit in prison for life. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so remember, Jordan sent a letter to Willis asking her about the use of the funds. And then what she said back was, we have already provided you with substantial information about our programs that are funded via federal grants. We will not shut down this effort to prosecute crimes, including gang activity, acts of violence, and public corruption to meet unreasonable deadlines. How do you tell the government, how do you tell the HOC, the House uh, Oversight Committee, that these are unreasonable deadlines when they gave them plenty of time to supply ample evidence, documentation, the actual records, open up the book, show us where, how you've been using and utilizing. This is this is standard practice. Whenever you get any federal money, whenever you get taxpayers' money to fund some kind of a community organization, community project, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you have to disclose the exact proper, precise legal documentation. And she's saying, this is unreasonable. This is just a political witch hunt. Nothing you do will derail our efforts of me and my staff to bring, she diverts and deflects. Oh, you're just trying to get in front of my little Trump train. That's what you're trying to do, Mr. Jordan. And nothing's going to derail that because as she said before, this train is coming. So remember, not only does she have this fiasco going on with Jordan, but she faces another probe where uh, one of the uh, tr Trump's co-defendants produced visitor logs. Remember, Ashley Merchant talked about this from the White House showing that Mill Willis met with Vice President Kamala Harris while her investigation was ongoing. But remember what she said in court. She said in court, I never had a meeting. I never had a meeting at the White House when the pit bull, Trump's attorney, lead attorney, Steve Sadow was questioning. Oh, no, I never had a meeting. He said, are you sure you never had a meeting? I never had a meeting at the White House. Lie. Eh, lie. Other individuals have stepped forward with allegations that have further damaged Cash Money G's career. A one-time friend claimed she was being untruthful about the timeline of her relationship with Wade, while a former divorce attorney claimed Wade admitted to seeing Willis long before he was hired by her office, which we've covered many, many times. So whistleblower after whistleblower, you have Harrison Floyd saying more and more people are coming out. We had Harrison Floyd, who is a Trump co-defendant, um, the only co-defendant who is um, who actually had to spend time in jail, a uh, former Marine, uh, served in the military. He's a proud, intelligent young man. I had was so impressed with his interview. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave it in the end screen. Um, he has a lot of things that are coming out that he is going to issue and disclose very, very soon that is going to light Cash Money G's whole entire, you know, uh, uh, posturing and her entire platform on fire. So more, more to come. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this whistleblower. When this whistleblower talks, whoo, 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 she's going to be singing some very, very cherry tunes. I can't wait to hear this. Let me know what you think in the comments, uh, Nez Nation. What do you think of these latest allegations, these latest updates, these latest breaking news on testimony, whistleblowers, people in her office? Everybody is coming out of the woodworks. Why? Because you reap what you sow, Cash Money G. When you're corrupt, dead inside, absolutely devoid of any care of your constituents, the so-called people you care about, all that stuff comes back to haunt you. But I'd love to hear from you, Nez Nation. Let me know in the comments. Oh my God, it is so good to be back. It's so good to see you guys. I can't wait. We've got so much more coming. The Hush Money trial is coming up. I mean, we've got so much stuff coming. The Iran-Israel uh, uh, conflict just happened. you got to stick around. Make sure you subscribe if you made it this far. Become a Nez Nation insider. In the pinned comment, 
uh, is actual our free newsletter. It's a Nez Nation Insider free email newsletter. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's absolutely free and you'll always be in the know. The latest breaking, updated, breaking news, uh, uh, stories, current events that mainstream media doesn't cover. So it behooves you to become a Nez Nation insider. As always, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Consider becoming a member. Super chats and super thanks are all appreciated. Check out these videos coming up right here on the screen. This is the interview I was telling you about, which is phenomenal. Follow, subscribe, and as always, Nez Nation, God bless you, and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.